Thank you very much. Uh, can you hear me? I don't know which of these is. Can you hear me? Okay. I greatly appreciate this uh, on behalf of my father. I feel a little uh, uh, un inadequate to stand before you because it wasn't my life and I'm not the author, but uh, unfortunately my father's health just won't allow him to be here today. But he, I talked to him a couple of hours ago. He knows I'm gonna be here and he's very excited about this. It looks like it's gonna be a fantastic event and convention and symposium and, I, and it's, it's wonderful to see so many people interested in German culture and especially Afro-German Afro culture. I personally studied in Freiburg University um, now 20 something years ago and um, so, but it, but it is funny, I have to tell you that I can't tell you how many times, at least, at least once a week, somebody comes up to me and, and says, I, I read your book. <laughs> and I, how did you survive Nazi Germany? <laughs> and and I, I, I just, at first I would say, look, I'm junior, okay? And after a while, I just started saying, look, it wasn't easy, but I made it, <laughs> okay? <laughs> anyway, again, uh, I, I really wish that my father would be here because he has, uh, I don't know how many of you have read his book. Um, I have to tell you that I, uh, all my childhood, he, uh, he told me that you know he was gonna write this book. And we had heard a lot of the stories and, after a while, we, you know, when someone keeps telling you they're going to write a book, you go, yeah, right, you're going to write a book. Yeah. <laughs> so he said, no, I'm going to retire, and then I'm going to write a book. And I said, okay. And he did exactly in his typical German way. He's, my father's the most German person I know, and the most, <laughs> and he's punctual, I'm telling you. I mean, anyway, he retired, and he, he literally, he, he retired, he, we grew up, I grew up in Chicago. We, he moved from Chicago, he moved to New Orleans, bought a house there, he went upstairs and we didn't see him for a year. <laughs> he came down with a manuscript that was about that big <laughs> and he put it in front of me and he said, here, read it. And so for the next three nights I sat up, I read it 24 hours a day practically. And when I read it, I said, my goodness, this is good. It's, it's even better than I thought it would be. So if you haven't read it, this is a shameless plug, read it. But um, <laughs> really, this is wonderful. I know he's going to appreciate this. And um, again, I'm sorry he couldn't be here, but uh, this is really a wonderful thing. And thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>